Hello, I'm Jody Gale, Extension Agent with Utah State University Extension Service. Uh, thank you for joining us in this continuing series of uh, segments on uh, pruning in the home orchard. I'd like to spend a few minutes and describe how you control the direction you want the tree to grow as you develop tree structure and limb structure. By selecting branches and selecting buds, you very literally have the opportunity to control the direction you want the limbs to go. Uh, just remember that trees want to grow very vertical. They want to grow up. They don't want to grow out. And in order to get good light penetration into the center of the tree to promote good coloration on the fruit, we need to train our branches so that they'll go on out on about a 30 degree angle and uh, move away from the tree instead of growing very vertical. And the way that is done is by continually selecting lateral branches and lateral buds. So let me describe what we mean by lateral branches. This here would be an example of a lateral branch. We have a branch that's going up fairly, fairly vertically. Uh, here we have a branch that's coming out uh, on, the, on a better angle. So this would become a lateral branch where this is kind of the center part. And by looking back in the tr to this limb behind, you can see where pruning cuts have been made the last several years. Uh, this particular place, this branch used to go in a very vertical manner. A pruning cut was made here, selecting this as a lateral branch, forcing the growth to come out away from the center leader on the trunk. Uh, year, year, the next year, this cut was made, continuing to direct the growth of that limb out, and so on until we brought that limb away from the center leader by some three or four feet. By continuing to select to lateral branches and lateral buds, you can promote that outward growth on the limb. By looking uh, closely at the buds uh, right here, selecting this particular bud is a way to cause the tree to grow out and up. The pruning cut was made here choosing this bud. If this bud was chosen and the pruning cut would have been made here, this would force the tree to branch to grow sideways, which is a direction we do not want it to grow. Uh, if this bud on this side of the branch were to be selected and the cut would have been made at this point, this would have allowed the branch to go up and maybe back in towards the tree. So by very carefully looking on the underneath side of the limb, choosing a bud that's on the outer uh, reaches of the branch will uh, direct the growth to an outward direction, which is a desirable direction that the limbs should grow on apple trees, peach trees, and most fruit trees in the home orchard. Again, thank you for joining us for this segment of Pruning in the Home Orchard with Utah State University.